greetings to anyone who has laid eyes on this video or this channel or have come here for this information. Today I'll be talking about the incarnational process through a star or my basically my experience in incarnating through a star and why I specifically did that. So I do believe that this is a disclaimer. I do believe that it is possible to incarnate through a planet, you know, like Jupiter, Earth, Era, any planet like that. It doesn't always have to be a star. But um, I believe it will be a much more difficult to do that. I want to say difficult, but it will take longer. It will take longer to incarnate through an acre in that energy because it's very concentrated and yeah that's the best way i can explain it in human words incarnating through a star it's much much easier because the energy is bought up into one mass and it's not really um spread out spread out throughout the planet a star however it's just energy incarnated well <laughs> incarnated um it's energy in one mass and it's just there and it's much older but well, most stars are much older than planets they've been here longer and they have much more experience and information within them <sighs> so now i got that out of the way so i remember scheduling a time a specific time and I, th I believe it was an alignment between stars or some kind of retrograde or astrological event. Remember scheduling because of that. And, it, and because of that, you know, any astrological event, it would, um, in my next incarnation, I will have certain traits. And that's what we call the zodiac. <laughs> so. Um, I remember laying on this metal or steel type of surface. Um, I seemed a little stiff, but not too stiff. It, it was, I was aware and I was still awake. So I wasn't completely, you know, shut down, calm. They telepath telepathically told me what to expect, what's going to happen. And... The people, they were looking down at me, so I'm sure that I, I was laying down. There was um, a Pleiadian female and a other Pleiadian male, but they didn't look like me. They had blonde hair, blue eyes, and light skin, and a blue suit. And then um, I believe some of my friends that came from the same planet as I did, they looked like me, and you can find out what I looked like back um my other video before this one so we weren't using our mouths or my or our throat chakra so i believe they're telepathically talking to me and giving me this knowings of what's going to happen and all of that so they pulled me out of my body and i remember traveling to a huge white star, white star, um, which is Alcyon. And I remember, you know, absorbing and anchoring in that energy to my soul, to my, specifically to my soul, and just embodying myself in Alcyon and completely merging with her connecting with her it was it was beautiful and i i just felt loved so after that i remember a female voice telling me what is going to happen next and then you know how in star wars where they do a hyper jump it was like that but it was white and it was like these diamond re reflections and this sound, it sounded like a sound bowl, but really, really loud. Um, excuse me. 
and yeah there I am in another body <laughs> I can't really I don't I can't really explain how she does it how the star does it but that's just what I remember in my experience so I'm going to get in the topic of well what how a theory or the best way I could explain on why I decided to incarnate through a star so I wanted to take a piece of home with me and home is near the Alcyon star and I wanted her I wanted her wisdom and I wanted her energy to be with me on earth because I know my first incarnation is going to be rough because it's my first incarnation on earth and yeah so I can't really give you the specifics of exactly how you know like the scientific ex explanation and the logical explanation I can the only thing I could tell you is that um, any source of white light energy or pure white energy is a gateway a door to one place to another and white light energy vibrates very very fast faster than anything I've ever seen because of that not only can you travel through any source of white light but you can even um, integrate into another body what I mean by integrate is you know incarnate into another body but you have to have a very powerful ancient source which is a star they've been here for a very long time almost almost every star in the in this galaxy is older than any other planet in my opinion but almost I'm not saying every single star but almost every single so I lost my train of thought yeah okay so any any type of star can be a opening a portal to one place to another and it is very fast so I believe that's how we can incarnate through a star but I can't really um like make a whole video on how because honestly I can't explain it through a human tongue and I can't explain it through linear words it's just a knowing and I can't give that to you over a video on YouTube can't send you a down a compilement of information on a YouTube video and then send it to your mind or whatever I'm not gonna say it's not possible, but I can, I my skills, my psychic abilities are not that powerful, and that's the best way I can explain it. 